right, Oval fans, and a little bit of Ruthless too. We're talking Dale once again. I meant to do this video um, last week. Well, actually, a week before last when Season 2 premiered about Dale and the fact that he's going to be joining the cast of Season 2 uh, working at Kareem's Pharmacy because, remember, Sharon recommended that there be, you know, other workers or another worker employee. That way, Shireen, uh, Sharon and Kareem aren't kind of stepping over each other every single day in Drama City. So we know that he's going to be looking for someone else. I think he said he put it up the Help Wanted sign. And we know that Dale is going to be leaving Virginia to come to D.C., which takes place, you know, in the uh, Ruthless series. So before going further in the video, please take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now, I was going back through a couple of the older uh, season one videos of Ruthless. And this was, I want to say, towards the first half of season one. And we had a few scenes of Dale, you know, working in the uh, deli section of the local market. And there was one particular Rakadushi member. He was, you know, um, you know, talking with Dale on a couple of occasions in regards to recruitment. And the reason I wanted to do this video is, you know, I, I've already talked about how his parents don't really accept the fact that he's gay and that could be one reason why he decides just up and leave the area to go to dc but i think it might be something else because there was a scene where the rakadushi member was a bit adamant about recruiting dale you know like dale kept kind of making quote-unquote excuses like well you know i'm a christian you know well so was i well, why are you? Well, so so am I. Like, why did you join the cult then? It's like, well, no, I found out, you know, the Raku is more powerful than God. And she, I know, well, I know that, uh, what was it? Um, Daikon told that to Oliver that, you know, well, you know, the highest is more powerful than Jesus. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. But in any case, he was pretty, you know, Dale's like, well, I'll, I'll think about it. And he's like, well, don't take too long because, you know, our time here is short. Uh, we all move on eventually. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, you know, like we're here one minute, gone another. You know, Dale was like, oh, you, what are you moving somewhere? Like, you know, thinking the compound was going because uh, one of the female members, the one who was actually talking to Pope, but then ended up being killed by Ruth, you know, the uh, Rakadushi guy was like, oh, yeah, well, she got relocated. So that's why Dale thought when he's like, you know, well, it's all, you know, we all move on when the time comes. Again, Dale was thinking they were moving on, but I'm guessing that maybe the Rakadushi approach him again. And once again, it gets to the point where they probably aren't trying to take no for an answer. So in order to escape, he just packs up his truck and leaves Virginia to go to D.C., I think this could be a factor, but I don't know if it's going to be the reason he leaves because it seems that the compound is more desperate for money than new recruits that are male. So they're more interested in female Rakadushi members, but that's just my opinion. So I'm thinking Dale ups and leaves Virginia as a combination of just not being accepted by his parents and the fact that the Rakadushi might be trying to adamantly recruit him over and over again. I mean, we're still wondering who the hell he called on the phone after Brian left the store in one of the more recent episodes towards the end of season one. You know, he kind of had a serious look on his face. He made the phone call because, you know, he had come around looking for the Rakadushi at the market since they come like clockwork. And with all these missing person cases, Dale probably just figured it's best to just, you know, get the hell out of Dodge. So... Let me know your thoughts. I wonder what episode he's going to pop up in first. We're going into episode three and we haven't seen him just yet. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month.